Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future. We're going to clarify, get some oracle cards, and all that good stuff. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you will consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what we get for the astrology card, which is gonna be your theme. All right, so we have house two, physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Okay, um, God, I feel like this card came out for you before. So the physical security, obviously, we all desire physical security. Possessions, material values, and self-worth. How connected are you to your self-value, meaning your, your self-value being connected to your possessions and your material values? Like, where does that stand for you? It could be popping up over the next couple of weeks where you're asking yourself, what's most important for me? What do I actually need to be happy? Because we're growing out of a really materialistic time into a, do I need that? Does it really make me feel better about myself? Or has society told me I have to have it in order to be happy? So you could find yourself really looking at all of those things. And typically, um, is the second house represented? Representative, represented by that. I'm seeing the Taurus for some reason. Some of you might have Taurus in your second house. Okay, that was an odd little message. Let's keep going and see what Tarot has to say. It isn't a bad thing. I think everybody likes to have nice things or things that feel good to them. But Pisces, you guys do like your things. So do a lot of other signs. I just want to say how valuable is it to you and where has it in the past maybe challenged you to say, oh, well, I don't feel worthy unless I have these types of things, right? By no means by being critical on the cancer. So we like it too. There's a lot of us that do. All right, let's see what the overall energy is. I just feel like you're going to be taking stock of things. Okay, so the three of pentacles, there could be some stuff coming up around work over the next 10 days. Um, I feel like some people have some questions for you. They're kind of watching what you're doing. And okay, this is interesting. Some of you may have some things going on in your life and maybe you don't wanna share it with the people that you work with. I feel like there's people from the outside kind of looking in, maybe trying to get more information on you. Maybe they don't know how to read you and I think there's not a question about how well you do. I just think for some of you, you are an elusive person to other people. They can't figure you out, which isn't a bad thing, by the way. I just feel like they're onlookers and there are people who have good things to say, but they don't always say them to your face. Okay. A lot of energy coming in. This is definitely around your work. All right, let's see what the recent past, the five of pentacles. Okay, some of you, yes, you walked away from something. And I want to say it wasn't the easiest decision to make for you. Um, but there's something, I just heard you had to abandon an emotion or a connection to something. Some of you, yes, you could have decided that you wanted to, or you're having thoughts about leaving a job, maybe moving into something new. Let's see, because I want to be sure. All right, Knight of Swords. For some of you, this could have been somebody giving you some information and you're like, you know, it's quick. It's in and out. I'm not sure if I can trust it. I'm not sure I want to leave one situation to go into another. So some of you could have gotten a job offer. Um, it may have seemed a little bit exciting, uh, but I'd, I would take a good look at that. Let's keep going because I don't want to say 100% seven of cups. Okay, there could be a couple of options. And some of you, yes, this could be kind of confusing because there's so many things out there that you may find yourself right now feeling like, okay, but I think I'd love to do that. Or, but, but, but I think I'd love to do that. Or uh, I'm just going in different directions because there's so many things that I want. I don't know which way to go. I think you'll make the right decision. Obviously, you're going to. Not everybody's going to make the same decision for themselves. 
But I think there'll be a moment when you'll have an epiphany because the Knight of Swords can just be quick energy that comes in and you have like this idea like, okay, that's it. Like, I'm going to truly take a look at this and, and decide, do I want to walk away? I think people would be sad to lose you if you decided to walk away from your job and pursue something else. But it may just be time to start thinking that through and start thinking what's really going to make you feel more fulfilled. And that could be the, the reason why a lot of this physical security and some of your um, possessions, things like, does it connect to your self-worth? Is it worth sacrificing your happiness for maybe a job that pays more than what you could do in a different direction that maybe needs to build up to make you more money and make you feel more secure? All right, let's see what your current energy we have the knight of cups this is spirit's way of saying listen take your time but if it really doesn't make you emotionally satisfied what's what's the good of all the money in the world if it if you don't feel good if you're not emotionally in a good place so they're really telling you if you're going to leave this one situation you better really take a hard look at it during this time that we're in now astrologically and love what you're going towards it's going to be really important for you. Yeah. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get a peace of mind. Maybe something you haven't had in quite some time. The idea is, is if you go this direction that it takes you to this six of swords, which is, you know, you know, cut your losses and just go towards something that's going to bring you peace of mind. Right. All right. After that, we have the six of cups. There could be somebody in your life um, that needs to say, they're sorry or wants to say they're sorry, I'd be very cautious with that if I were you. Uh, this could be related to a, a relationship as well. It doesn't have to necessarily be about a work situation. It could be that you just decided you needed to walk away and it's because you need your sanity back for some of you. And it's just a lot more mentally settling. Um, Six of Cups, like I said, feels like somebody wants to say they're sorry, but that's going to be up to you whether you want to take that sorry or not. All right, let's keep going. See the near future. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay. See, to me, this feels like you kind of shutting down, like you just, like it's not even worth expressing yourself anymore. You just don't really want to talk about it because you feel really betrayed by a situation and you're just like, it's not worth it. Wheel of Fortune. You know that good things... Listen, I want to say this. If you've if you've had a tough time, obviously there's something that was not the easiest. Walking away from a job, deciding that you want to give things up that you used to feel like were attached to your hip. Like I, I had to have this house. I didn't feel worthy if I didn't have these things or they're connected to the way I feel about myself and you decide you're going to walk away. Um, it's hard. It can be hard. But you're done. Some of you are just done with it. And like it's not worth it because it doesn't bring me the joy and the peace that I really want. And for others of you that have walked out of a difficult relationship and find yourselves maybe seeking new love. Maybe you're in a position where you feel like it. But if somebody is trying to come along and say they're sorry, I just don't think you have a lot to say. Or maybe you're not feeling like you can really speak your truth. It just feels like a lot of betrayal there. But then after that, it's like... The Wheel of Fortune is coming in. So if you have been struggling and things just didn't seem to be going your way, it's like Spirit's taking you through all of this just to get you to hear to say, well, you know, things are going to start turning in your favor. So they want you to have the right people and the right circumstances in your life when these things start happening because those other people don't deserve to be a part of those wins necessarily in your life. This is for you, not for anybody else. Let's see what challenge we have. Six of Pentacles. Okay. So some of you, it's really hard not to share with other people. It's really hard for you not to be that person that just gives and gives and gives. It made you happy at some point. You love giving to other people and it's a, an incredible quality to have. But not to your own detriment. Not to the point where you suffer in some way, emotionally or otherwise. So yes, I get that. It made you happy. But you've got to pull back at some point and realize that we don't live this life just for other people, right? Especially the feminines. A lot of females, and I am going to talk about gender for a second. So if you're a male, just give me one moment. 
for the feminines, we're starting to, in this new age, separate and decide because this is what we came here to do, right? We, we decided we wanted to come and have our autonomy, our own lives, our choices, all the things that we wanted. It isn't about punishing masculine energies or taking away traditional family or you know, we're deconditioning from all of those things that we believed because we wanted to have a different experience. So it may still be hard to process that that doesn't necessarily have to be a part of your life to find joy. It is what's happening. So if you are one of those feminines and you found yourself in a place where you're like, maybe I just need to, you know, put on the brakes, take a step back and not necessarily be in a relationship because it doesn't, have to be you want somebody in your life but you want them for the right reasons and if you've been through your awakening then you know that all of those things you've experienced up to this point have been lessons that you had to learn in this life so if you're fully aware now then you're going to be in a different space and maybe you don't need that but most most pisces women would like a partner it's just you want the right one because up to this point there's been a lot of really difficult ones okay all right, let's keep going and see what we get when we clarify. All right, so this house two, the physical security, we have the moon in reverse. Things are gonna be revealed. If there's any question about your physical security, I'm gonna say don't worry about it. Things are gonna be okay. Um, I feel like finances are gonna be fine. So if anybody's been struggling or worried, I'm just gonna say worried because I don't think you have anything to be worried about. I think there's just some signs that worry more about their financial Abundance. Yes, I, I get it. There can be times when like you're scraping to get by. I don't think that's going to be the case. And the moon is your sign is your card. So I think things are going to be okay. It's all going to be obvious, more obvious to you how things are going to work out over these next couple of weeks, especially around a work situation. If you're changing jobs, ah, the world. Okay. So that, it's going to feel like your world is changing significantly. We can't stop this forward movement that we're in. And that's great. So great. get ready for this, this new version of you, this new cycle, yes, that you're going to be in. But it's, God, please don't sing the Disney song in my head. It's a whole new world. <laughs> Sorry to laugh, but when they sing songs in my head, it's like, oh, come on. We're not going to use that, are we? That's it. It's like it's a whole new world. So there's some version of you that's not going to you're not going to recognize yourself. All right, so the Three of Pentacles, you could have had some problems with some people at work. That could be it. Maybe people were gossipy or you just felt like people really didn't appreciate what you were doing. But others are kind of finding you a little bit confusing. I don't know. The energy is very, it feels very bogged down. Like some of them, everybody has an opinion. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. The hangman. Hmm. So you're not sure which way to go. Remember I said maybe you're deciding if you want to or you were in the past. Step away from some a work situation. And somebody came in and had an offer. But you're just like, I'm not really sure. Or I'm not 100% sure if I want to make this choice myself. Even if there wasn't someone who came in. There's just some information about a new position or doing something different. Part of you felt a little bit confused about which way to go. If this is about a relationship, you could have gotten some news or found something out about someone and that's what really, the straw that broke the camel's back made you decide you really had to exit. All right, so the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Cups. Whoa, okay. I mean, you don't get the Wheel of Fortune twice very often. So I'd say that there's a reason that these things are happening. It's because something better is gonna be there for you. Um, I just heard you'll have that what's in the house two card, the astrology card, the physical security. And if you had by any chance lost any material belongings, you could be regaining them. So it's like the old had to go so you could replace it with some new. So it could be that you're rebuilding and finding yourself lucky. I say lucky, but it's, it's obviously faded. I don't think anything is luck. It's fate. And things are going to start looking better and better. So if you're feeling a little bit confused right now, they're like, don't because everything we're doing, we're doing to make things much better for you. We had to clear out all the old stuff in order to make room for the new. Um, you're going to be feeling this and you're going to understand why. Like I could see you throwing up your hands and going, I'm just done. Like I, I can't fight this anymore. 
If you got to take it away in order to clear my space for this new stuff that's coming in, fine. <laughs> Just do it. Get it over with. All right, so the Knight of Cups with the Six of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles. They're like, don't hold on to anything unless it's absolutely so valuable to you that you can't stand it, right? Sometimes the peace of mind that you get from just sailing away um, is the best thing that you can possibly do. But as long as you're moving towards something that you love, you're not going to lose anything. How do they want to put this? It's it's not that you haven't lost things or that you, you don't have to give some things up in life. I just think for some of you, some of it's not worth keeping for your mental health. It's like, no, I don't really need that as badly as I think. And it's more to make room for the things that are coming. All right. So for those of you that did find yourself moving on from a love situation and are kind of getting in that place where you're ready to move towards something new, like I said, yes, there could be an apology. Be cautious. Knight of Cups. Now, this card, it's a little bit different. You've got the Knight of Cups twice. you got someone who's kind of rearing to go. And some over here, that feels like your energy. And this feels like somebody else coming in. Like, oh my God, I love you so much. Just, I don't feel great about it. I'll be honest. So be cautious when somebody does that. Because I don't know that there's sincerity behind it. If I felt it was sincere, I'd tell you. But I don't. All right, so the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Swords. Lovers. I mean, obviously very betrayed. Just not even wanting to be a part of it or say anything or even, I just feel a sense of like, I'm just done. Like, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to go back to this. I just want to be done with it. And then here comes these floodgates of good things that start happening because, and again, I'm speaking primarily to my feminine energies. The Empress comes in to say, because this, you're remembering who you are again. You're just coming back to yourself. And this is the person that you are. Look how incredibly elegant and blessed and just at peace she is. Especially because she knows that now that things can really start to turn around. And things are starting to look like they're on your side instead of major, major struggle being there. It feels like things are really turning around for you. And you know who you are again. You're reclaiming yourself, which is what we do, by the way, after we go through really tough lessons. We have to come back to ourselves again. And I feel like a lot of you are doing that. All right. So the challenge with the Six of Pentacles and giving to other people, the devil comes out. Yeah, it's a challenge because sometimes it's actually not a healthy trait. It's it, The devil can be a codependency. It can be a need to do things for what we think is the right reason, but it actually is some kind of a need of a, approval. So giving and giving and giving the pleasing that a lot of us will do as humans, it may have seemed to make you happy and you like to bring joy to other people, but it really is kind of a trauma response when you overgive and you don't respect your own boundaries. So it, it's something that's difficult, difficult to get back. Blah, I can get it out. Difficult to get past because it is kind of a codependency that you have with, giving to others to receive that feeling of like I'm worthy, right? Okay, let's see what we get with some advice. What's the advice for you? All right, so we've got the three of wands. They don't want you to look too far in the future right now. They're asking you to kind of like, don't wait for something else to come in. Try to focus on today because little I keep losing my train of thought. Little quippets, little things are going to be showing up that are going to help you understand that, yes, things are going to start getting better. Um, but it happens in bits and pieces. I don't feel like it's this total floodgate that comes in and opens up. Although I did, I think, say that earlier that the doors are opening for good things to start happening. What they don't want you to do is sit and wait. You know, looking into the future and knowing that things are coming in towards you is okay to do on occasion. But if you're constantly waiting on something that you feel like you don't have, then you're not really experiencing life for now. You keep thinking you're going to feel better when something happens in the future. And that's just not the case. They'd, they'd like you to take your attention kind of away from waiting on something to happen and kind of enjoy what you have now. The Seven of Pentacles, you can't sit and watch something grow. You have to kind of step back from it, give it some attention, and then go back and check on it again. But sitting and staring at it to see if it's going to continue to 
grow or come to you is not going to be healthy for you. All right, so we have the Empress again on the bottom of the deck, which is good because they don't want you looking for something that's going to give you the evidence of change. They just want you to understand it's all within you, and this is the place that you're coming back to. So take care of yourself. The Five of Swords, don't try not to stress. I'm not going to tell you what to do by saying don't. They're saying try not to stress because it can feel overwhelming, especially when some tough stuff has happened and you're going through these transitions and the good's trying to come in, it can feel a little overwhelming. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So they're saying do you take care of yourself. The advice is to take care of yourself. If you're not doing that and you're still not giving to you and you're still too focused on other people, they're asking you to take this time to really put into your own energy. Fill your cup up first because you're not going to be any good for other people if you don't. our cards of advice so we have time to reflect it's always a good time to reflect but this may be a an important time especially with mercury retrograde show that you care to those that matter most to you and then observe in silence always a good place to be sly as a fox right and then share your thoughts when you're ready here i don't think you're ready to to speak up on something but if the opportunity comes and you feel comfortable sharing them by all means. All right, so let's see what we get from the Lover's Oracle. This one came out for Cancer too. Honor the place in one another where you're one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss, sexual union. This is what most people want to find. Um, if you have a great partner, um, you've walked away from somebody else and you found something new, great, that's wonderful. Or just look for that in a partner, right? It's an important connection to have. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. Be easier said than done. I get that. But do your best to go with the flow right now. And then, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Um, this is going to be for a lost loved one. They, they come through. So whoever popped into your mind that you may have thought of when I said that, just know that person's with you. And they want to come through in a reading. It's important for them to let you know that they're always with you. All right, so let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, so we have come to the edge. They want you to come to this space. I, I just heard don't be afraid. I know it can be really scary, especially with a, a lot of bumps and some of the trauma that you may have already experienced, but they're like, come on, this is who you are. There's kind of a, a free spirit in there that needs to be unleashed again. I hope that makes sense. So you could be 36, born on the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th of the month, and then the mending, which we know is happening all through every experience that we have. This is really deeply a lot of childhood mending that's happening so it could be the connection between you and a mother um doesn't always have to be but they just said there's mending happening there so you could be 52 born on the fifth the second or the seventh of the month and then treasure island i mean you've got the wheel of fortune twice and you've got treasure island coming up it's like it's right before things are going to start getting really good much better and then we have chop wood so for those of you that are physically active, keep it up. You need it. All Pisces do. Do your best. Um, this is just what this card represents for me. It could be 42, born on the 4th, the 2nd, or the 6th of the month. It, it's going to be, for your mental health, it's going to be really important. So keep up the exercise. If you can get yourself out there, stick your feet in the dirt, do whatever you can to ground and bring yourself back if you feel like you're getting a little you know, not see with some of this energy that's popping up. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Please hit that like button and leave me a comment. I so appreciate all of you. And if you'd like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, the information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing 10 days and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.